Good morning, friends. It is Sunday morning and I'm at work again. Um, so today I am going to post something considering this my rant. My rant, I guess you call it. Uh, so, just for the record. If you want to take a shot, it is your right, go ahead. If you feel safer taking the shot, by all means, take it. But on the same token, please do not make me feel this small for not taking it or for refusing to take it. There are many, many people, even Christian, um, led by fear. And we are, that's what the enemy is trying to accomplish. So he is, his new strategy is like, let's make these people afraid. Afraid of this new disease, afraid of repercussions for not taking the vaccine. I am not afraid of losing my job. I know that's a big possibility. It's probably a certain eight. I mean, it's 100% sure that's gonna happen, but I'm more angry than afraid. I am angry because I do not have a choice. And I don't know how many of you know, but I am from Romania. Romania used to be a communist country prior to 1989. And the way I grew up, grew up it was on TV, it was always communist propaganda. How great the communist ca uh, party is and how proud we should be to be communist. Well, it's happening here with this shot. Um, it's a lot of propaganda about the shot. And many of the people that don't want to take the shot, they are shamed. They are made felt like they are the enemy, especially nurses that refuse their, to get a shot, like they're putting their patients in danger. If we were about putting them in danger, we wouldn't choose this profession. We love our job, we love our patients, we love what we do. But also, we care about our families and our own bodies. We should have a say in what goes in us. We shouldn't be made or made felt this small for not taking something that might hurt our families or our bodies. Again, like I said, if you want to take the vaccine, go for it. That is your right. And you do have that right. Isn't that amazing how people that want to take the shot have that right to do it but the people that don't lose your job for now for now it's just in healthcare for now you are the enemy for putting patients in danger if you don't have the shot you're not vaccinated but let me tell you something this is just the beginning it starts like this it starts with healthcare workers it's going to go to grocery store workers. It's going to go everywhere if we let it. At one point, my country was considered a third world country. And you know the weird thing is, every other week it seemed like we got a vaccine for something. I don't even know what we got vaccinated for in Romania, but we got vaccinated a lot. So, they should tell you something. It is not about 
protecting anybody it's about control so I know many of you will think I'm all out there or I lost my mind but we as Christian at least we should stand for something many Christian they say they are not afraid oh I'm not afraid I'm not being led by fear but yet even though some of you had the vaccine are not coming to church because you are afraid you are afraid of getting sick even though you did have the vaccine that should protect you against the unvaccinated people or against other things and you know if you do your research even vaccinated people can pass along the virus they can still get it they say it's not as bad as the other people, unvaccinated people, but that's not true. You don't know what's in that vaccine. They don't list every single ingredient. And yes, when you take your vaccine, your arm might hurt for an hour or two, or sometimes a couple days, and then you're over that. But you know what? You don't know the long term of that vaccine. But if you are willing to take the chance, good for you. But do not make me take something I do not want to take. That's my rant for today. I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you next time.